Once a year, after a full moon, the Great Barrier Reef puts on nature's most spectacular orgy. The mass spawning of millions of corals. The vital renewal of the world's largest reef system. of the spawn goes absolutely everywhere. Then the ocean surface turns pink. It's amazing. Nothing like it in any part of the world, really. But marine scientist Dr Charlie Berren is increasingly seeing the coral's fantastic life cycle under threat. Well, the coral spawning is drastically reduced if something is wrong with the water quality. Marin is Australia's godfather of coral reefs. His epic Corals of the World is still a bible for marine scientists. I have described and catalogued all the corals of the world, mapped them, photographed them. But these days, the retired chief scientist for the Australian Institute of Marine Science is also documenting the collapse of the Great Barrier Reef. Well, the inshore Great Barrier Reef has changed beyond recognition in my time. So I would go to places now that used to be flourishing corals and are now just pretty much dead. Um, that's the inshore Great Barrier Reef. It's been really badly damaged. Dr Verin, like many Australian marine scientists, believes the Great Barrier Reef is under severe stress. Last month, the Federal Environment Minister signed the final approval for the largest coal project in Australia's history. Coal from the planned Carmichael mine in Queensland's Galilee Basin will be shipped through the port of Abbott Point inshore from the Great Barrier Reef. The coal project is controlled by Indian billionaire Gautam Adani. A second Indian billionaire, GVK Reddy, also has a huge mine planned in the Galilee with Gina Reinhardt, and so does Clive Palmer. Coal from the mines will emit vast amounts of greenhouse gases that will impact the reef. Last week's Marine Park Authority report concluded that climate change and ocean acidification caused by greenhouse gas emissions are the most serious long-term threats to the reef. Um, the scientists are disputing how, how it might play out. No one is disputing that it will have a dramatic effect on coral growth. As the oceans are forced to absorb more and more greenhouse gases, scientists predict the reef waters will become more acidic and hostile to marine life, triggering extinctions. And one senior coral scientist is now arguing the Galilee mines should not go ahead. Well, if these new coal mines go ahead, and there's a big question over the whole economics of that, they will um, put out a huge amount of CO2 emissions. That CO2 goes into the ocean. It causes ocean CO acidification. Ocean acidification is a big issue for the future of the Great Barrier Reef. So instead of contributing to CO2 emission by developing these mines, Australia should be leading the charge in transitioning to renewable energy. You know, that's a bandied about phrase, but the canary in the coal mine. Since his retirement from Australia's Institute of Marine Science, Charlie Barron has no hesitation speaking out about the threat to the reef from greenhouse emissions. It's incredibly serious. What we are doing now is pumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere at a rate which has never happened remotely before. Now, this will acidify the oceans, and that's... That'll be the end of it for corals. It's very, very serious. 
That won't happen until well on through this century, but it will happen. after the World Heritage Committee listed the Great Barrier Reef as one of the wonders of the natural world, it is officially in poor shape and expected to decline. This year, the committee sharply criticised Australia over the Abbott Point decision. Protecting the reef's extraordinary life and beauty has always been a trade-off with human activity. But those who know the reef best say now, more than ever, we risk losing our most precious natural icon. Scientists, believe it or not, are interested in more than just writing the obituary of the Great Bear Reef. We, we want to be offering solutions for how to turn these bad trajectories downwards. We have a lot of information about the Great Bear Reef. It's probably the best studied coral reef in the world. So it's undeniable that, that it's in trouble. The question is, do we have the political will and the, the will of the public of Australia to turn this around? No one will ever see the coral reefs of the world like I have. Because even if they had the opportunity, they're not there anymore, like they were for me. And boy, how sad can that get? I just wish this happened some other time, but not in my lifetime. Mm, I should have, would rather be dead before this time, yep. So do we really care enough? That's the fundamental question.